I have been lucky enough to have done this now four times, and it never gets old. Seriously, it's just a great experience. And there are some people out there, Rob Manning and Dara Sabai and some of the other folks who have done this as many times, and I know they all just had the exact same experience as I did tonight, which just gets better every time. How much does it cost to send one pound of gear uphill? I was going to take one pound of something and send it uphill. It costs about $10,000 or more. Well, you start looking at Antarctica, you start looking at the, the submarine community, prior space experience, aircraft carriers, and you try to find out what do you really need. Space uh, and, and the International Space Station uh, offers researchers like me an opportunity to find the key variables to crystal growth. We're very happy to say that we got crystals that were larger and higher yield, and this was the predictable results we were hoping for. We just recently flown on SpaceX 6, and we got crystals back from that, and we're in the process of analyzing that, and we're looking forward to SpaceX 9. And I never thought I would ever say this, but this is better than that. <laughs> Carefully open this up and cut it with a knife or scissors around the edge and then grab your trusty spoon and just very carefully eat it one piece at a time. They don't know the outcome of their trip. People do it all the time. I think it's something that a lot of families um, deal with um, and have ways of dealing with it, and we just um, deal with it the same way. But, but it is hard, and I, I'm actually, it's nice that there are others that have done it that I can look to to say, what did you do, how did, how did it work for you? It's still not fun, but it, it's comforting to know that I'm not the only person in the world that is, is suffering with this. There's, there's communication. All right, with that, we're going to end tonight's uh, news conference. We know that there is...